infamous fisty cup. So, where's your, where's Bandahar at? Is he around? I want to meet him too. He, he was around. I don't know where he's he was at now. He went that way. I, I see you getting a little grazed there, man. What's going on? Uh, you know, is, it, is, it, is it a family life? <laughs> it's, it's a family life? You know, it's stressful watching Bandahar. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. big fucking game. Man, so you guys. You guys mind if I just feel you guys just talking, chit chatting? Yeah, just for a little bit. I work for him. Yeah. Yeah, I just like. Uh, so what's the hardest part about your job? Keeping everybody happy? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, that's a challenge. But, you know, I think we're going to do it with Modern Warfare 3. We got a lot of cool stuff. Now, really? Once I get up there and can actually dive into the details, I'm going to do it. All right. He's always on the spot, and he comes through. I, was, I saw you at Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. And I was like, man, I was, he was like, oh, man, it was a hard one to get through. He was like, he was, he was like giving you the elbows a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he was, He's a funny guy. Trying to play Spec Ops on TV with two people who have never played before is uh, it's interesting. But I'm saying, us dealing with YouTube, the bigger, the bigger channel, we have, we have a lot of people that complain about all the little bit of stuff, like Second yeah. Chance and the Ghost that's in and Black Ops. Right. Right. In this game, are you, will you be changing a lot of that stuff? I know you can't give up. Changing a ton of stuff, and I'll talk about every bit of it up on stage that's, with the keynote. That's, that's good. Yeah. I want to know what your opinion is about uh, Heartbeat Sensor. Heartbeat Sensor? Yeah. It's an interesting piece of equipment. It's, it's <laughs> faint. It's constantly debated among us is on, it, on what should happen with it. Is it balancing out like with the perks? Uh, definitely. I mean, everything about Modern Warfare 3 is balanced out. Which I'll dive into the detail of that once I get up on stage. But All right. Appreciate it, Robert. Yep. Thank you. Here with Glenn, the main man. Is it Glenn, right? Yep. Glenn with uh, Sledgehammer. So you, you look like a brawler. So like when people ain't uh, taking care of business, you know, doing their, uh, <laughs> making the videos, I mean, you just take care of them real good. Yeah, well, you know, I, I grew up in New Jersey where, you know, I think you're born with a weight in your hand. And then I uh, ended up living in New York and Brooklyn and, uh, well, just kind of makes it <laughs> Like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> He's a cool dude. Well, I appreciate your time, man. Thanks. Sure, sure. <laughs> this guy right here is, like, what the up, coolest man? dude at Machinima. <laughs> this is the guy right here. This is the guy that got me into Machinima right here. Yeah. You, know, you know, never, like, oh, yes, cool, yeah. cool ass dude. <laughs> yeah. Getting yeah. out here, man. I'm glad to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's tight. It's a crazy event, man. Look what we did, look what we did, right? Yeah, right? man, you brought a lot of people up, man. So what's up, man? Not much, dude. I just checked out uh, that old conference right now. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah? That's really cool. Good really good trailers. Uh, the Elite looks awesome. Yeah, this guy right here is the coolest dude right here. Now we're chilling out here with Vaughn. I know Thunder Toro wish he was here, but too bad. <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, we're glad he's here. Anybody have a? Uh, that's Mark J. He loves the Cujos. Is, 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 are we ever gonna see the dogs back? <laughs> yeah, I should have asked you there. <laughs> yeah, we're the Cujos, the attack dogs, maybe. Can't, can't talk about that. <laughs> are we gonna stay in Modern Warfare, or are we going back in time? Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's cool. Hey, look, I appreciate everything you've done in the game. I think that you're the one of the people that worked the hardest on, on any of the Call of Duty games and responds to the community. He does a really He's good job. Time. Yes, I appreciate his time. Anyways, that's about it.
go on games like used to be on games always trying to do the 360 spins and there and their thing was oh you know we're not doing this very well you know but it was it was just silly and it ruined the game for the other fighters because other players were trying to have a serious game and then you got your last guy left oh, okay so I want to get this cleared up how where did the balance come from to not put sniping in the game and to put sniping in the game like when did you guys make a decision like whose whose decisions were those like i'm not saying him personally basically as a team we always we are we felt like um quick scoping as it was occurring in, in uh modern warfare 2 is just a little bit too much i mean you look in the forums everybody's complaining when there's a, there's a lot of complaints about something it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's a bad thing, but it just means that there's a lot of people with their eye on it, right? And it's, it's a concern for everybody. And what our attempt to do was just to make it so you had to use a gun a little bit more like a sniper rifle, where you actually have to bring the scope up and look at it, you know, like you would if you were using a sniper rifle, that you couldn't use it without using the scope. Oh. So, what we were trying to do was trying to add stuff without interfering with somebody's scope with the, the way they normally play. We were trying not to impact anybody but guys who were really just going like this, right? Unfortunately, you know, there's a real fine line, like you said. I think we're at the end of the game now after we toned it down a little bit because you start seeing, uh, we started seeing complaints about sniping and worms again. So I think it's a real good balance right now between not being too nerfed and not being like completely, you don't even have to use the scope anymore. I love it. So. No, it's, it's just a, hey, I'm recording on, for my. Let me see, let me see this. Alright, go ahead. Give me more guns. Is it video? Yeah, it's rolling. The video's on. Hey, listen. Right here, we're on the main stage, the main area. I'm looking this way, there's not too many people. You know why? Because all the focus is right here. The people are. People are transitioning over here. We got the million dollars tournament. You know, it's, it's been interesting to watch from uh, you know, how these pros are, are working from Black Ops to Modern Warfare 3. It's interesting, it's interesting to see the guns, the maps, how they're just they're like that. You know, they, they understand the angles, the cutoffs, the weapons they're using, teamwork. It's, uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting final. Four hundred thousand dollars on the line. Man. <laughs> hey. See, here's a, the next guy that's gonna take Danger Melson's job. He should, right. you should, you should hire him, Xbox. This guy is a funny ass dude. Around his iPhone. I'm gonna take Barack Obama's job. There you go. Vote. There you go. Look at these two cool guys right here. I'm glad we have some level-headed people. I in the, right now, I am glad we got some level-headed people in the community. Only yes. Only is taller than me. Fucking <laughs> piss me off, dog. God damn it. Improv. See, you can't get that anywhere else. <laughs> Hold on. I just want to let everybody know that me and Steenanders have no hard feelings. Nope. He's just a he's just a busy guy. He's just a he's just a busy. Can you even hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I mean, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, we're both wearing checkers. We're cool. It's gotta be something. Yeah, it's gotta be something. I don't have nothing against him. Can we all just get along? Yeah.